Section 333 here. This is actually a Saturday morning. I'm smoking the Saturday Savinelli, but it's not any Saturday morning. I'm actually smoking two bowls today because I'm also smoking my 2018 Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipe in a Dublin shape. I love this pipe. I think it is gorgeous. Um, so I can just look at it all day, this pipe. Um, I'm smoking some Peterson's Irish Flake. Because it is St. Patrick's Day this Saturday morning. But, uh, and that's a tradition of mine. I yearly smoke the... St. Patrick's Day pipe, and I think uh, it goes back to 2015, 16, 17, and now we're at 18. Uh, so four years in a row, I smoke a St. Patrick's Day pipe um, from Peterson. And uh, it guarantees that I will at least get one new pipe each year. Who are we kidding? I will probably get several new pipes each year. Um... In my Saturday Savinelli, like the alliteration there, um, I am smoking this, the Mind Meld. Now, the other day, I saw these two tins side by side, so I was kind of comparing them together. And that's the Mind Meld with the Contest Blend Pipe Tobacco. But they are very different tobaccos. The contest blend, as you can see, has a lot of red Virginias and bright Virginias in there. And there's a little bit of Latakia. You get a hint of Latakia here. You barely get it in the tin nose. Mostly you get the sweetness of the dried apricots and, and the hay. You know. And you get the McClellan ketchup in the flavor, definitely. Um, that, that vinegary uh, taste. Um, it's pleasant. It's very pleasant tobacco. You can smoke it. It's an all-day smoker by any means. You can smoke that all day, uh, which was which is what it was intended for, is a mellow all-day smoker. Now, the Mind Meld, you can see, is a lot darker. You have much more Latake in it. It's a collaboration between Mike McNeil of McClellan and Russ Ouellette of Pipes and Cigars. I don't know if you can get this any longer. Um, I think I got like five or six tens of it, maybe eight. Um, now this is, uh, like I said, Russ Ouellette of Pipes and Cigars. And Pipes and Cigars got a lot of great blends, just, you know, um, in my opinion. Uh, all the ones that I have tried so far, uh, Bangle Slices, uh, which I will do a review on, um, Black House, White Knight, uh, which are, um, and oh, Larry's Blend. Larry's Blend is very similar to Dunhill's Nightcap, in my opinion. Some people told me that it was very similar to Penzance. I do not find it similar to Penzance. Um, it doesn't have the creaminess that Penzance has, but it certainly has the, um, the punch flavor, uh, of a nightcap, uh, definitely similar to nightcap in my opinion. Your, your mileage may vary. Um, so anyway, mind melt. You get the hint of the Virginias, you get that dried apricots, but you also get, I want to say, a currant and you get the smoke of Latakia in this. And it's one of the few blends that I've ever tried associated with Mike McNeil where you really get that, um, that 
that Latakia smoke coming off the tent. Um, I mean, you really get it on that. Um, it's not overwhelming the Virginias because I can definitely smell the Virginias in there. I the Orientals I can only taste in the actual pipe itself. This reminds me very much of Frog on the Log. Maybe even on the town. It's very good. Um, you only get a hint of that McKellen, that McClellan ketchup that everybody talks about, or that vinegar. It's only hinted at here, and it's a very nice compliment to the smoke from the Cyprian Latakia. Um, yeah, this is, um, full Latakia pipe tobacco mixture, and it is a complex exotic blend, um, stout with the finest Cyprian Latakia, sweetened, and with a special, uh, McClellan matured Virginia, uh, fragrant with oriental leaf, richly rewarding, and it's a collaboration blend between the two gentlemen that I previously, uh, mentioned. And uh, it hits the spot in a big way. Wow. Hmm. Wow, it's also so very different from the Peterson's that I was wearing. Wow, um, it's very different from the Peterson Irish Flake. Uh, the Irish Flake, I think I did a review on this once before. It's very reminiscent of McBaron's uh, Dark Fire Kentucky to me. Um, I've only recently found out that it's very possibly produced by... <laughs> And I'll have to research that more. Well, evidently, McCle uh, McBaron does make a lot of blends for Peterson. But so does the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. This has... Like I said, the room note is killer on this. By the way, it is freezing out here today. Um, it's like 50 in the sun, but if you come out of the sun and when that wind kicks up, it is very cold. We have another nor'easter coming to the Long Island area. And uh, it will be our fourth in a three-week period. Um... I think it has snowed more this month than it has all winter. I, I, I can't be sure of that, but up until like two or three weeks ago, I remember only shoveling snow like once or twice. Um, now I've shoveled it three times and I'm about to shovel a fourth time. Yeah, it's great. Mm. Very good stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can get this anymore. Um, be, the only place you could get it was Pipes and Cigars, I believe. Certainly not as mellow as as the contest blend. Um,
but definitely something you could smoke all day, in my opinion. I could smoke this all day. Yeah. Hmm. That is very, very satisfying. Very satisfying. I'm smoking it in my Saturday Savinelli. It's a 320 shape uh, Porter Servo. Um, if you're new to the channel, that's why I'm telling you. If you're not new to the channel, uh, you probably are pretty familiar with this pipe. I have always loved Peterson's Irish Flake. Surprisingly, I don't get the big nicotine hooks on it like most people do. And I'm pretty sensitive to nicotine. Um, and I don't know, it's only this one. Everything else that everybody says has a high nicotine level, whether it's Nightcap, Larry's Blend, whether it's, um, oh goodness, what are some of the others? Elizabethan Mixture. Um, those knock me for a loop. Uh, Royal Yacht, whoa, Royal Yacht, really. It did more than knock me for a loop, it knocked me on my new, you know what. But this one, not bad for me. Usually I'm in for the parade. I will not be going to the parade this year. Um, I went to the parade last week in Huntington. On uh, last Sunday. Um, took my mom. She enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, this year I won't be going to the parade. Uh, I don't like traipsing all the way to the city with my mom. And, uh, you know, she's older now. She's 86, and she has Alzheimer's and things like that. So you don't want to... You know, but she's very high-functioning. Um, but you don't want to put her in a situation where she could get anxious or stuff like that. Um... Oh, must be 1210. It's my tablet. It's uh, my alarm. I got to start heading to the gym. Um, man, this is good. This Peterson's Irish Flake. Uh, too. It's very different from the uh, contest blend and very different from the uh, mind melt. Um, I highly recommend people try this though. You know, if you ever get the chance to, it's uh, and it's out there. You know, I totally see why you can smoke that and drink like a, a nice heavy stout. Um, although I probably will not be having stout today. I'm kind of have sworn off drinking for a, a little while. Um, just for health reasons, things like that, trying to get in better shape. Um, so, because I'm in training, and, uh, although I will probably have a couple of duels tonight, a couple bottles of that, I would love a... Like a Guinness, uh, the Guinness Blonde actually is probably my favorite beer when I think of beers. Um, another one that I really like is Sam Adams Light, of all things. Um, it's not really a strong beer. By, um, or actually it is. 
compared to other light beers, it's probably closer to beer. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's not really that light if you look at it compared to other light beers. Um, but yeah, if, if you get the opportunity, I highly recommend this Mind Meld. Um, it's got the smoke of a Latakia. Like I said, it's very reminiscent of uh, either On the Town or Frog on a Log for me. And um, I, I think you could definitely... I don't think you can go wrong with it. I really don't. And for all I know, that might be still available on... Um, what do you call it? On Pipes and Cigars website. Um... You know, and good luck, you know, if you can get it. Uh, yeah, but very different from the Contest Blend. Um, you know, the Contest Blend, definitely sweeter and, like I said, definitely more of an all-day smoker. Like I said, you, you could smoke the Mind Meld all day long and get away with it. Um, it's not going to hit you too heavy with the nicotine. The room note is that pleasant, smoky Latakia that everybody enjoys and loves. And... Uh, you know, oh. oh, yeah. You know what it is? It's actually affecting my mood. You know, um, I smoke certain tobaccos based on my moods. And uh, so I'm smoking this and I'm thinking, wow. This is perfect for a nice crisp cold day like today. You know? Whereas this, I kind of want to smoke on a nice warm day. You know, it's so weird. It's the weirdest thing. Hmm. So while it is St. Patrick's Day, I'd prefer to be smoking this right now because it's cold out. <laughs> but, yeah, you got to stick to your traditions, too. All right. Everybody, have a happy St. Patrick's Day and a great weekend. And, uh... God, God bless you, and God love you, and show you, show His grace upon you and your family and everybody in your life. Um, and uh, if you're not into that, I still hope everybody has a great weekend and everything turns out fine, and that all the good things that need to happen to people happen to you every day. All right, um, you have a good weekend.